Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the People's ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G. This ROM is courtesy of Kenny Glass123. Big shout out to him. Big uh, big thanks to him. Big friend, good friend of mine. So uh, be sure to thank him. I will link to uh, the ROM itself in the description. But uh, I also have a video on how to install this ROM. I will link to it in the description of the video as well. But anyways, as you can see, it has actually just booted up and I wanted to point this out that the Sprint Connections Optimizer will pop up. Basically, it will um, go through and help optimize your connections. You, you can just hit agree. Uh, what it will do is your, it'll remember your Wi-Fi connections and basically it's, its main goal is to improve battery life. So it'll basically remember them. If you leave them, it'll actually turn off the antennas itself, which will help, um, which will help drain less battery, of course. So other than that, I, I recommend leaving it checked. So that's the first thing. Um, go ahead and hit the back arrow once you're done there. You've got three launcher options. As you can see, you have launcher, TW launcher, which is Toucher's launcher, and Zeme launcher. So let's go to launcher first, and it should pop on up. It looks like the uh, stock gingerbread launcher with the Sprint ID. All right, so we also have two other launchers, of course. We have our TouchWiz launcher. So those of you that do like the stock TouchWiz launcher right here, um, you've got that for you. Um, and also one more, of course, you have Zeme launcher, which is a free launcher you can find in the marketplace. It's very, uh, very slim. It's very quick, actually. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't. Uh, Zeme launcher. There you have it. You got a dock down here as well. Um, so, I mean, you can obviously choose whichever one you want. Uh, other than launchers, of course, you have theming options. As you can see, um, icons, some icons are themed. But up at the top, let's go ahead and check out the, the status bar. You'll see it has a nice uh, blue circle mod battery uh, indicator up there, 92% 90, battery. You have blue signal bars as well, three of them. I'm going to go ahead and turn on 4G, and we can see what that looks like. I believe the Wi-Fi icon is blue as well. So it looks like 4G icon lights up blue. So very nice that the, all the icons up there go along with the with the theme of the ROM. So very nice. Hey, look, 4G now we're connected. Awesome. <laughs> but anyways, uh, scroll down. As you can see right here, it actually on my camera screen, it looks like this bar is purple, but it's not. It's actually blue. I don't know why it's coming up as purple on my camera screen. That's pretty interesting. Uh, same with this data. Um, this data button looks purple as well. So I don't know if it's going to come out like that on YouTube, but trust me, it's actually a very dark blue. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, you also have scrollable uh, quick panel widgets up there. You have many different ones, lock screen, screen timeout, airplane mode, data, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi. So very cool that you have that. It's a completely black notification bar, as you can see, so no, no transparency whatsoever. Um, other than that, I mean, you have obviously a bunch of other things to, uh, to look through. Nice dialer. So go to the phone icon, you got a, a nice dialer there, very uh, nice blue theme dialer. So very cool there of uh, Kenny Glass 123 to include that. Uh, messaging icon is themed, of course, as you can see, a uh, nice transparent messaging application right there. So if we can go ahead and uh, send a text. I don't know if it's going to send, it'll probably just say fail. I guess I can text, uh, send Google a text. Looks like Sam, Samsung keypad is set by default. Oh, and send. So there you have it. It is a bit themed. Um, the icons are themed. It is transparent as well. Let's go ahead and check out the other keyboards. We have options to input method. We have gingerbread keyboard and Samsung keypad. Here is our gingerbread keyboard, which is themed. So it's the gingerbread keyboard, but it is themed as well. So we can say, hey, there. How are you? Question mark. So there you have it. So you got your your gingerbread keyboard as well. Of course, none of these are going to send because my number is not on my Epic at the moment. So don't think that's an issue that uh, message not sent. So nice icon up there um, that the message wasn't sent. That's actually pretty cool. So um, otherwise, we have some some other things you want to go through. Of course, um, you can use Voltage Control, the app found in the market, if you want to overclock your ROM. It does include the Shadow Kernel 3.0 which has voodoo sound, voodoo uh, color as well. Go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. It is based off of the the latest build, the FC09, in case you were wondering. Build number of the People's ROM version 2.0, there you have it, so you know you're running the People's ROM. My messages still aren't getting sent, so down there. It actually looks purple on my camera again, but it's actually a dark blue with black. Um, I don't know how it's gonna come out on YouTube. I'm actually pretty excited to see what it's gonna look like. <laughs> um, but anyways, you can just clear those out. 
Um, other things that uh, I want to show you guys, you have the CRT screen off animation right there. So of course you've got that. Uh, you have a, basically the AOSP gingerbread uh, lock screen where you get sound on and off as well as unlock just to slide. Uh, the transitions are very cool. Everything is very fast and snappy. Um, no issues at all with speed or lagginess. I, I mean, I've uh, I ran through and tested some stuff on this ROM, and it's very quick. So very definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out, especially with a nice uh, TouchWiz style experience. Not necessarily TouchWiz, but uh, obviously not AOSP, of course. Uh, other things, it has a GPS fix, so GPS should be working just fine. It has the hotspot hack. So your wireless hotspot, just go to that application and uh, you should be able to just turn it on and use it. Um, that's because the wireless hotspot hack, you're not going to have to pay for it, of course. Just go to wireless hotspot and you got that application, so that should work just great. Uh, other things that you have, I mean, not much really. Um, you have a logs provider fix, so when you go to uh, your phone and you go to logs, you're not going to see text messages, of course. As you can see, there's no texts. You'll only see calls there, which I know a lot of people... Um, like to have a uh, volume rocker you can have a silent option just go down after vibrate and you got a silent option which is great i always love having that on my on my device that option to make it just silent with the uh vibration with the volume rocker which i don't know why they don't do by default they should on pretty much all devices of course Anything, anyways, other than that, I really don't want to have anything else I want to go over. I mean, uh, actually, I do. <laughs> I lied. Um, you have a quick panel settings application right here. And basically, what that does is it allows you to customize these quick panel buttons up here. So, you got widget buttons to show which ones show up. As you can see, all of them are checked by default. And you can change the order as well. So, you can change the order of them as well as which ones show up. So, let's say I don't want. Uh, I don't want GPS to show up, I'll uncheck it. And as you can see, there's no GPS up there at the top. Absolutely no GPS shows up. Let's say I want to change the order of them. I want Wi-Fi to be below 4G. Just do that, and you'll see Wi-Fi is below 4G right there. So no issues there. Works great, quick panel settings. It's just an application in the app drawer you can go to if you'd like to customize though those. So it's really great that you can customize those. It's very customizable. So overall, a very fast, very snappy ROM. Definitely one you're gonna wanna check out if you have an Epic 4G. Huge shout out to my man, Kenny Glass123, on his first ROM, first uh, very successful ROM. I mean, I'm very impressed. No force closes, nothing. Everything's working great. So um, definitely a ROM to check out. So if you have any questions at all, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment on the video. Um, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.